You've got to love the creativity and the imagination of the DC and Snyder fans out there. This is from at RT Snyder Cut. They announced this new poster campaign that they've started and they used uh, Sergio Leone footage and it's quite good, it's quite funny. Fiona, our good friend, she's explaining what this campaign is. You can print copies of the wanted posters and place them where legally permitted. Please make sure to check if allowed before posting. Take a photo of any posters you see and tweet them out with hashtag WantedRTSC every Friday and we will pick some of our favourites. So here's one. Wanted, still at large. Proclamation of the fans. Rewards. For the release of the Justice League Snyder Cut. Release the Snyder Cut. Join us on Twitter at RT Snyder Cut. And here's the other one. Reward for letting Zack Snyder, the director, release his version of the movie. I will link these on my Twitter and my Facebook. I'll put the links in the description below this video. You can go and check them out, print them off and uh, start sharing them far and wide. Meanwhile, the at RT Snyder Cut GoFundMe campaign has raised over $17,000 in just a month. This is amazing. And I did cover this in my last video, but I didn't make it clear about the legal stuff. So here's we're going to read about this. It says, Mr. Maniscalco is acting as beneficiary of these funds for the sole purpose of ensuring 50% of donations are paid to businesses who will perform advertising for this non-profit event as described uh, in the campaign description. And of course, he will forward the other 50% of these donations to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, as also stated with this campaign. So a lot of websites out there try to spin it that this is a selfish act from the Snyder fans. No, it's not. Do your research and then talk. So let's move on to Wonder Woman 1984. The setting that has been chosen for the film is for a very specific reason. So this is coming from Screen Rant. It says, It turns out that the year mentioned in Wonder Woman 1984's title also holds significance to the plot. During an interview on Deadline's Crew Call podcast, director Patty Jenkins explained that 1984 itself is definitely very evocative to what's important in that movie and resonates with right now. Adding in that she thinks it was the pinnacle of the success in the 80s, she went on to explain that there's Something about the excess of that period of time, which is so linked up to where we are in the world right now, that it's set there for a reason. I don't know about you guys, but I'm still unclear if this is taking inspiration from George Orwell's 1984, you know, totalitarian government, oppressive state. I hope it is. I don't want just another dumb comic book movie. And I trust Patty Jenkins to deliver something with a little bit more weight to it, just like its predecessor, Wonder Woman from a couple of years ago. Now speaking of the cast for this film, this popped up on Google. Uh, if you search for this Wonder Woman 1984 cast, you'll see the names of Alicia Vikander and Sam Worthington. And it says here Hawk Girl and Hawkman. What's going on here? I don't know. Maybe this could be a, an error on Google's part or it could be that they've leaked it early. If this is true, what do I think about these castings? I'm okay with it. I'm fine. I like Alicia Vikander. I don't mind Sam Worthington. And in, these, in this type of movie, sure. But we'll have to wait and see for any kind of official confirmation. What's next? We've got James Gunn. He was answering questions from IGN fans. The dumbest people on the internet. And uh, someone said, man, Zack Snyder's Man of Steel was so dark. People think that Man of Steel was dark for some reason. And this is how uh, James Gunn answered. Man, Zack Snyder's MOS was so dark. James Gunn. Hold my beer, Zack <laughs> Snyder. I really am a big fan of Zack's uh, Man of Steel, and uh, Zack and I have been friends for a long time, so I would never have Zack Snyder hold my beer. 
we would share a beer together. I agree, with two and straws. And then people would get angry because I'm a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> but the rest of the video is not so good. I was going to say, I... Asshole. <laughs> I know, Thanos. Oh, Thanos. Thanos? Thanos? I don't know. Thanos! <laughs> Quality humour from a Marvel director. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all this. Click that like button, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. But until next time, I'm Shekar, and I will catch you later.